always a great day of gratitude for me that we have two new priests. Uh, not only just that they're two priests, but these young men who've persevered in their formation and who are now prepared to serve the people of God here in the Diocese of Fort Worth. Well, ordination is, is simply the beginning. Uh, what follows now is perseverance in priestly ministry, uh, in pastoral care for the people of God, and most especially in the celebration of the Eucharist, uh, in the preaching of the gospel, and also in um, pastoral care, especially for the sick, the infirm, and those in the margins of our society. It's like I have two new brother priests now in the presbyterate here together, and, and it's, it's just joyous to see the formation process and so I know that the young men who are in the process now, just to anticipate and think about them coming to their ordination day, God willing, uh, and, and how joyous that will be. So, so I, I think it also just invigorates us and, and helps us here in, in the Diocese of Fort Worth really think about what it means to build a culture of vocations where, where young men and women are really thinking about what does God want me to do in, with my life, what's his will, and how best can I follow to serve him. Yeah, the imposition of hands. Yes. And then also then the, the consecratory prayer that immediately follows after all of the other priests following the bishop put hands on the head of the, of the candidate for ordination. It's a, it's a very you know, solemn, very powerful moment. Um, it's of course very biblical. You know, you know, when the apostles chose people for the work of ministry, they would lay hands upon them and then invoke the Holy Spirit. So, you know, sort of that sense of going, you know, that link, it, link like a chain going all the way back. Uh, very powerful. And I really pray and, and I ask our people to pray uh, that we will foster vocations and enable people to hear the call uh, to priesthood and religious life.